Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are continuing with Nailing Navigation. Uh, I believe this may be the last video in Nailing Navigation, and uh, specifically we're working, looking at Windows and Tabs today. Now, Windows and Tabs is a little bit operating system specific, and as you can see, I'm on a Mac, so a lot of what I'm saying um, may only apply to a Mac, although I think that Windows has very similar options. Um, I just don't have a PC to, to check those out for you, so if you're on Windows, you may have to uh, adjust accordingly. Um, as far as Mac is concerned, what I'm about to tell you will apply to any operating system after Sierra. So that's right now, that's only Sierra, High Sierra, and Catalina. Um, I'm currently on Catalina, so this, is, uh, this will work for me here. Um, but before Sierra, a lot of these options are not available. Um, so what we're really concerned about is the options in the window menu. And as I mentioned, a lot of this is operating system specific. In fact, these first uh, five or six options um, are pretty universal to the uh, Mac operating system. So let's move down a little bit further and look at the score manager first, which has the key command option, uh, sorry, command K. And we will be in and out of the score manager a lot in our usage of Finale, so just be familiar with this. Um, and there's two halves of it, the file info and the instrument list. And uh, there is a whole series of videos coming up very soon about the score manager, so I'm not going to spend any more time on that um, other than to say that the shortcut for that is Command K. You should actually learn that because that's an important one. Uh, right below the score manager is the mixer, and that is Option Command M, and you'll get just that in a mixer. Now, this is a pretty rudimentary mixer. Pretty much all you have is pan, mute, solo, record, and a volume uh, fader here, as well as a master uh, volume fader and uh, section over here on the right. Um, it's pretty much all it does. And the one thing to know about the mixer is that whatever values you have set here um, get reflected in the score manager on the instrument list side. Pretty much there's uh, these two these uh, columns in the middle for record, mute, solo, volume, and pan. And whatever these values are, it's pretty much uh, mirroring what's in the mixer. So that's just how that works. Below the mixer, uh, we get the playback controls, which is clearly very important. This is where we will um, play back our files. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one either, because at some point we will do some videos on playback. Um, one thing I do want to show you is that there is a little uh, arrow in the bottom left corner that will open up some more advanced options. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you about one thing specifically, is this area where it says playback region. Out of the box, Finale will have this option checked here where it says 1. Uh, and this is basically saying that when you press play, Finale is going to play back from measure 1, no matter where you are in your file. Um, I find it a little bit more useful to have leftmost measure checked, which means that whatever you're viewing on your screen, whatever the leftmost measure is uh, in that view, um, when you press play, Finale will play back from that leftmost measure. So this gets a little bit uh, funky for people um, at, at the outset. So I would recommend uh, making that change to leftmost measure in the playback controls. And the playback control windows unfortunately does not have a key command. I kind of wish it does because I do um, uh, hide and show that playback controls window all the time, but uh, it doesn't have a key command unfortunately. Uh, the next few options have to do with the palettes, which we've talked about in a previous video, so I'll skip over those. And uh, after that, we have um, some, uh, some options available for Windows. Now, this again gets into some operating system-specific options, so a lot of these things are available uh, in other programs on a Mac. Um, but what we want to do initially is let's, let's choose New Window. And now, because of my setup here, I have a second monitor. Uh, Finale likes to put that window on the other monitor, so I'm just going to drag it over. If you have one monitor, you'll probably see something like this, where you, now you have two windows, um, and you'll notice in the top part here, it's pretty much showing you the exact same thing. The useful way to use this is that to actually set up a different type of view in the second window. So what I can do is actually go to the flute part and show the flute part, and maybe I can go into scroll view. So now I have two different windows, one showing the flute part scroll view and the other showing uh, the full score page view. And then from here, there's a few other options that are available to you, including tiling the windows, we'll which will just put uh, one above the other, and so you can kind of see both of them at the same time. And actually, for now, let's go to scroll view in my score as well. Um, the other option is to uh, cascade the windows, which will just do just that, so you can kind of find a corner of them and click them individually. Uh, actually, let's go back to that tile windows briefly. 
And one of the neat things about uh, having two windows open like this is that when you make changes in one window, if I add a note here in my flute part, um, you'll see that it gets reflected in the other part as well. So they, they will dynamically update. If I delete, delete that measure there, it gets deleted here as well. So that's kind of uh, nifty to uh, deal with. And on a Mac in Sierra and later, as I mentioned, um, we have some options for tabs. And uh, in the view menu, we do sa have something called show tab bar. Now this is where it gets a little bit confusing because if you actually show the tab bar, um, I had this window active, so it's showing down here. Um, all you're seeing is one single tab and there's a plus button over here. When you press that plus button, the only thing you're actually doing in Finale is creating a new default file. So actually these two uh, tabs are completely different files, uh, which is maybe not what you want, although I, I suppose that could be useful at some times. Um, for now, I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, and we can always hide that tab bar if we need to. The um, the way that the, the better way to use tabs in Finale or the, or the way that makes more sense is what you have to do is go into the window menu here and uh, choose this option called Merge All Windows. And when, when you do that, what Finale will do um, is give you one skinny window because that's the, the way that it was. And uh, it will create two tabs for you out of those two windows. So now you can actually click in each window and see the, uh, the different uh, view there. From here, uh, there's a couple of ways to navigate between the tabs. And actually, when you go into the Windows menu, you'll see that uh, now you have some new options here for Show Previous Tab, Show Next Tab, uh, and Move Tab to New Window. So that it would actually do that Merge All Windows in Reverse if you need to. Um, just like that, we'll just do that for you. So now you actually have two windows again. Go back, merge those, back to tabs. Um, so we can navigate between the tabs with that, that uh, key command is Control Tab. We'll do that, send you to the next one, Control Tab. Control Shift Tab will send you backwards to uh, between tabs, although with only two tabs, you're just going back and forth between those two. Um, so that's, you know, that's how uh, tabs work with, uh, with um, Catalina in this instance, or, or Sierra or High Sierra will work the same way. This can be handy in Finale. If, if you prefer to work with tabs, what you could actually end up doing is open up a bunch of different windows and view every single one of your parts and then you know merge all of those windows into uh, one thing and uh, you know you'll be able to navigate between your score and your parts just using tabs um, if you want to do it that way it's, that's a perfectly good way of doing it um, but I think that's it I mean like I said this is pretty much Mac OS X specific and again only Sierra and later um, and I believe that Windows has some very similar uh, options available depending on what version of Windows you're on. So y if you're a PC person, you may have to explore a little bit on your own in that regard. But um, usually when you have tabs or windows open on the same file, what's really cool is that they will uh, update dynamically between those tabs or windows. So that's sort of uh, the, uh, the nice feature in Finale uh, using the windows and tabs. Um, but I think that covers it. Uh, that uh, should be all for nailing navigation. Uh, come back the next series of videos. We're going to talk about the Humble Selection tool, which is uh, incredibly powerful and really useful to know a lot of the things that you can do with that. So come back for that series of videos. Uh, for now, I'll say thank you, and I will see you on the next video.